Hello and welcome back to Rigolim. Welcome back to Ear Paint. So I've accelerated it a little bit to uh, where this block is removed, so we don't have to wash the four frames per second thing anymore. Although <clears throat> it's gonna be moving at the you know at a snail's pace because that kind of speed is just not normal. But um, the most important thing here is we're going to see if it crashes or not within the next few days. Now this has been updated to 4408, so I don't know. But if the crash persists, then uh, this fortress will be a wash. We will abandon it and then we will uh, do something else, I guess. We will probably start a fortress with the intention of militarizing and uh, acquiring tributaries as quickly as possible. So that'll be interesting. Well, I mean... If this, yeah, if this one goes, uh, you know, goes belly up, then... Goes belly up because of, a uh, Celestial interference, then, uh, yeah. Then we will start a new fortress. If it doesn't, we will uh, go on the warpath anyway, although f for arguably different reasons. The hypothetical new fortress would just be for getting money and resources, and this fortress will be for th we will attack, conquer, and kill for the express purpose of obtaining more books. But we shall see. And now it's because it's now no longer three times as fast. It's gonna be a way more downtime, I think. to do, which is to send the grouping, so we're just going to have to be okay with it. He's not freshly injured, right? Ah, there it goes. Okay. Uh, hmm. Alright. So, this fortress is now a wash. That is unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna start something else. <clears throat> Still, good run. At the end of the day, we had a reasonably functional library, so, you know, that can be considered a Victory by Door Fortress standards. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. See you in the next one.